Hi folks, I'm Dave with Phototropics, and this time I thought we'd deal with a little lighter subject, that is the exposure triangle, which involves the management of light. And the exposure triangle involves three things, ISO, shutter speed, and the aperture. But what I thought we'd go take a look at first is this thing right here. Maybe you've noticed it and uh, it is referred to, I used to refer to it as a light meter, but then come to appreciate that most photographers just refer to it as a meter. What does it do? Well, the purpose of it is your, it's your camera's way of saying that it feels like the exposure is either in balance or out of balance for your photo. If it's zero, the camera's saying, okay, everything's good, this should be a properly exposed photo. Whether it's good or not, that's that's a different subject. But if it's telling you it's negative one, negative two, negative three, that means that it is underexposed. Underexposed means that it doesn't have enough light. Now, if you're taking a night photo, you can say, okay, thank you camera for telling me that. I just know that I'm gonna be taking a darker photo anyway. Now, if it's positive one, positive two, positive three, that means that it's saying, hey buddy, your camera is telling you that your photo is going to be overexposed, it's going to be too bright, and it's going to possibly wash out or blow out your photo. And if you're taking a picture in the snow or a very extremely bright situation, you might say, okay, thank you camera, move it along, I understand what the situation is. But as you move along in your photographic journey, you're going to want to learn how to manage that yourself. You can actually manipulate that little indicator to move up and down the scale. Now, you can do that with your 30-day photo challenge. Each few days, you might say, you know what, I'm going to work on adjusting one aspect of the exposure triangle, like the shutter speed. Well, you actually have a setting on your camera that will say, okay, I'm going to automate everything except for, except for the shutter speed, and you can manage that yourself. Same thing with the aperture. Aperture priority will let you manage the aperture, and everything else will be automated. And so spend a few days on each one of those, and you can work that out so you can become a more skilled and developed photographer. So we're going to continue talking about the exposure triangle this week. We look forward to seeing you again. Again, any pictures you take during the challenge, please tag us, send it to us. You can tag us on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, all those places, and we'd love to talk about them later. So stick with us. Any comments, concerns, or personal beliefs, put them down there in the comment section below, and we look forward to seeing you again later.